Thank you for tuning in to Beacon Marketing's Weekly 5. Five things you need to know about marketing this week. My name is Roger Gallegos. I am the founder and CEO of Beacon Marketing. This week I'm continuing my series on focusing on the customer by talking about how you can create a great customer experience. Uh, in particular with your marketing efforts. Uh, some businesses tend to think that the customer experience begins when the, the customer makes a purchase and they go through the process of making the purchase and enjoying your product, when in actuality, the customer experience begins when they begin interacting with your content, whether that be social media, your website, an email that you sent out, even a printed uh, material. So an example would be if you send out a piece of print mail and it has the wrong phone number or wrong address and they go to try to call that number or go to the website and they can't find it, that's a bad experience. They're going to say, oh, this doesn't work or they don't know what they're doing, so they're going to move on. Creating a great customer experience with your marketing helps position you as the company of choice to address your client's needs and or your customer's needs and that's really what marketing is about at the end of the day is you're trying to address the needs of your customers and convince them to go with you as the best option so that really begins with the marketing effort so what we're going to be talking about in this video is uh, why that customer experience is so important and, and I want to dig deep into that so uh, without further ado we're just going to jump right into it um, and I touch on that a bit but it, in my introduction to this video, but the first reason is it could be your first introduction to that customer. If you are reaching out for the first time, like maybe buying ads or sending mailers to a new area of town, or maybe trying to get people to uh, through uh, recommend recommendations, and they're interacting with your website, print material, social media, whatever, or emails, whatever it may be, or even a paid uh, ad on like Facebook or Google. If that's their first introduction, you want to leave a good impression because there's, as the saying goes, you don't get a, a second chance to make a first impression. So you want to make the most positive impression. So you want to have that experience be as positive, positive as possible and make sure that they leave feeling that you are willing and able to address their needs. So the fact that it can be a first introduction is reason number one. Second, and this is tied into that first one, is chances are you will not get a second chance or second opportunity because people are busy, they tend to forget, there's a lot of distractions out there. So if you, if your website is down or if you uh, do not create that great experience, they may say this is a bad company, they just will, uh, they, they do not have the answers and they'll move on. Very rarely you're going to have them you know, let me go to the website and if it's down or if it doesn't work properly, have them go back. I'm going to go back two or three days later. It's just not going to happen, at least not in the level that, to the level that you need to have that repeat, to get gain new clients and have that repeat business come back to you. So you really want to make sure that you capitalize on that initial opportunity because you may not get it again or you probably won't get it again. Uh, so that's the second one. Uh, th uh, third is you really, as we've touched on it at the beginning of this, this video, this is your opportunity. Your marketing is the, the opportunity to showcase your capabilities as an organization. You are highlighting the things that you do well and how you make their life easier. So you're giving them a little taste of what they can expect um, from your business. So what you want to leave them thinking is like, wow, that was great. That website was put together well, or I love that email, or they're really funny on social media, or it was just a great way to interact with them. I can't wait till I'm actually getting something I paid for because you got to think like, you want to leave them thinking, if I got that for free, if that experience was for free, what am I going to get when I'm actually putting some skin in the game, when I actually put some amount of time and money into it? So that's what you're really looking at. You want them to leave feeling like excited to engage with your product just like they did with your marketing efforts. So the chance to showcase your capabilities is, is the third reason. The fourth reason is customers will pay more for a great experience. Studies have shown that 6% of customers will pay more if they feel like the experience is, is worth it. And when you stop to think of it, that makes sense. If you feel and you see that that experience is gonna be worth it, you'll pay a little extra because it's that quality. And if you are showcasing your capabilities properly, and you are showcasing that 
you have a good quality service or good quality product, they're going to say, I know this other place is cheaper, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get the quality there that I'm going to get here. This is good. So you will be able to charge a little bit more and have your uh, profit margins be higher because you are able to have, because you're developing that experience in the beginning at the very first uh, point of contact uh, through your marketing efforts. So your customers uh, paying more for a great experience. That's a huge reason as to why you want to deliver a great customer experience when it comes to your marketing efforts. Uh, the last, number five, the fifth reason is customers talk, people talk. It, it, that's the whole point of a discipline of, of marketing called word of mouth. People will, will are more likely to share a poor experience then they are a positive one. It's just the way it is. So if you are, again, if your website's down, if your social media is not working properly in terms of links, or you just it's just a boring experience, people talk. They're going to tell their friends and family, I saw them, they look good, but you know, their website was horrible, or I got a postcard from them and it had the wrong phone number, or I can never tell what their hours are because it, it's they show one, uh, certain hours on Facebook and certain hours on on um, on their website, it, it's just a mess. And their emails, you know, the links never work. It's just a mess. And you, if, when people, when that gets starts getting around, particularly if you're a small business, particularly if you're in a small uh, or, or medium-sized city where you know people tend to know other people, and if your audience is local, that could really be uh, a death nail for you. So you really want to create that good experience so people talk and, and, and you have a better chance of them. People, share, you know, not just not sharing a bad experience, but hopefully sharing a good experience. Be like, you know, Roger at Beacon Marketing, they do a great job. I would go with them. You know, they have a great marketing team and a great marketing experience. I would go with them. And again, you're going to get less of those than the bad ones, but I'd rather have a few good ones than a lot of bad uh, uh, nuggets out there. So uh, that's it. Let, let's do a quick recap as to why customer experience is so important to your marketing. Uh, it could be your first introduction or your customer's first introduction to your business. Uh, you probably will not get a chance. That's number two. Number three is it's a chance to showcase your business and your capabilities. Number four, customers will pay more for a great experience. And five, customers talk. They are more likely to share a negative experience than they are a positive one. So you really want people to be positive about your business and, and, and what they experience with it. So that's it. Let me know what you think. What what part of your marketing do you feel is the best experience? Is it your social media? Uh, do you feel you have a great social media that you have great engagement? Is it your email marketing? Do you feel you have um, some good content that you share? What part of the experience do you think could be better? Uh, I'll give you an example of mine. Beacon Marketing's website could be better. I want to make sure that make sure that it reflects uh, my business better. So that's something that over the next uh, few weeks and months, I'm gonna work on to make sure that that happens uh, in the proper way. So let me know what you're working on. Um, as always, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, in the description below, you'll see links to this week's blog, which is how you can create a great customer experience. So in this video, we talked about why the customer experience is so important. In the, in the link below, you'll see a blog as to how you can create a great customer experience with your marketing. Uh, there's going to be a link to schedule a free 30-minute discovery session where we schedule a phone call or a Zoom call to discuss where you're at with your business and how I might be able to help with your marketing. Uh, it's a $97 value. I do the first 10 for free, so you really want to be one of those first 10. Uh, second, uh, or the third last thing is uh, a link to sign up for my email marketing um, newsletter. I send out every Monday afternoon uh, around uh, 1 p.m. Mountain. Great information on how you can promote your business and different types of things like this video and blogs and whatnot. So uh, I don't say any spam or anything like that. So you just get one email a week from me, maybe something else when I have something special going on, but uh, I don't flood your email inbox. So uh, that's it for me today. Again, uh, Roger Gallegos, Beacon Marketing. This has been Beacon Marketing's Weekly Five, Five Things You Need to Know About Marketing. Please stay tuned next week where I come back to end the series on your customers' needs by talking about how you could do retargeting and uh, share some stats about why retargeting your customers is so darn important. So uh, look forward to that and uh, talk to you later.
Thanks so much. Bye.